Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Today we're making meatloaf in the Instant Pot. So here I have two pounds of ground beef and I'm going to add a half cup of oats. You can also use breadcrumbs if you'd prefer. Uh, two tablespoons of parsley and a teaspoon of Italian seasonings. And I'll put, I'll put the uh, exact amounts below just to make sure that I don't say it wrong. But a teaspoon of salt. I have some sage and some black pepper. This is a half cup of chopped onions. Sometimes I put a little bit of bell pepper too, so that's just kind of up to you. Today I don't have any, so I have two eggs blended up really well. And I'm using a half cup of beef broth. I will probably get in this with my hands here in a bit, so if that grosses you out, you might want to wear gloves when you do this, and you might want to fast forward. It's just kind of up to you, but I like to make sure everything gets blended really well. Also, sometimes I make two of these at the same time so that I have all the stuff already gathered together, and I freeze one, like in a round bowl, especially if I'm gonna use it for my Instant Pot. Then I, I put it in a, a free. I start the freezing it in a, in a round bowl, and then I put it in like a, a, a freezer bag afterwards, just so that I can just pop it in there when I want it later on without having to go through the trouble of preparing it. Now I've got a trivet in my instant pot. I'm going to put a cup of water. It might be easier to lower that in there after I get it on here. Let's see. Okay, make sure yours is in the sealing position. I'm setting this for 40 minutes. While the meatloaf's cooking, I'm gonna put together the topping. And sometimes I use this and sometimes I don't. To be honest, it tastes really good even without it. So if you're trying to cut back on the sweet stuff, um, it tastes good enough that you could skip this. Okay, so that's one-fourth ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, that's definitely not the way my home ec teacher taught me to do that, <laughs> one teaspoon of dried mustard. You want to make sure you get the, if you have any like chunks of the brown sugar in there, you want to make sure that those get smashed and stirred in or else people will be getting bites of brown sugar. So the, so the timer has gone off, so I'm going to turn the valve and release the pressure. Okay. 
so far on the pot. So I've got my oven already preheating. And I've got mine on broil because I'm just going to put this in there just for a little bit because it's already cooked. Put it in there for about two minutes. 